Be prepared to be horrified and amazed at today's video. Imagine you're fishing for normal looking fish and instead you pull out a monster. This is what today's video is about. There's so many scary fish out there that we had to narrow it down a bit. Let's have a look at the top scariest fish ever caught, the vampire fish. This specific pariah is called the Hydrolycus scomboroids. There are only four species described in the genus Hydrolycus. They're also part of a group of species called the dog tooth tetra. The word hydrolycus literally comes from the Greek word hydro meaning water and lycos meaning wolf. Therefore, the vampire fish is actually the water wolf. Scared yet? Don't be. Because the second word is scomboroids, derived from scombros, which is tuna or mackerel, paired with the suffix oids, or similar to. Their names then literally mean water wolves similar to mackerel. These fish are scary, and their most outstanding feature is their bottom teeth. These these teeth can end up having a length of up to 30 centimeters or one foot, but have been measured up to 51 centimeters or 1.7 feet. The fish itself can be upwards of 1.17 meters or 3.8 feet in total length. It can end up weighing in at 17.8 kilograms or 39 pounds. The fact that a fish like this can have teeth almost half the length of the body is because the teeth fit snugly into two bone sheaths within its skull. The Hydrolycus scomber are colored silvery with a dark spot behind the opercle and another near the pretoral fin. In adults, the tail has a dusty or basal color, turning paler and more transparent toward the tip. Pariah is a difficult fish to catch though. It puts up quite the fight. It can seriously injure an angler. This fish is also known as the saber tooth barracuda, the vampire fish, saber tusk barracuda, or vampire tetra. They're streamlined for power and speed. These vampire fish have a bony face which high large gills, and because they have fan-shaped pottle fins, they can swim in choppy currents and rapids, where you also find our next scary fish, the terrible Congo Goliath tigerfish. The next one on our list is from South America, with truly wicked teeth and a scary sounding name. Cherisin is the fish order defined by living in freshwater and who have shoaling habits. Piranhas are by far the most notorious Cherisin. This far more deadly Cherisin also hunts in the Congo River. The Goliath tigerfish grows to around 1.5 meters or 5 feet in length, and it makes this piranha relative look like it's an aquarium goldfish. Not only is it fierce looking, but they hunt in packs and could be potential man killers. Cherisins get enormously big and turn into mega predators. The results are nothing short of nightmarish. The largest of the tigerfish makes the piranha look like a pet goldfish. In the white water sections of Africa's Congo River, the Goliath tigerfish can be found. They can weigh up to 50 kilograms or 110 pounds and sometimes measure around 1.5 meters in length. This enormous green, yellow, and brown fish with shimmering scales is massive and powerful enough to take on nearly anything that it encounters. It is a shoaling species, like its piranha relative, making the verdict even more negative for its prey. These ferocious looking fish sport teeth akin to a lion's fangs. Each tooth can possibly measure over 3 centimeters or 7.5 inches in length. The fish uses the same shimmering scales of its prey as a signal to attack. A human arm can easily fit up the elbow into its mouth and guess what could happen next? Lamprey. This can be classified as a monster fish. It's not even confirmed whether this creature is a fish or some kind of other creature altogether. It's got no backbone, no jaws, and it has a sucker within its teeth right in the middle of where its tongue is supposed to be. To make this thing even scarier, its tongue also has teeth in it. To eat, they bore into the skin of other fishes and drink their fluids. It's kind of like an image of nightmares. It's basically the kind of fish that one would use as nightmare fuel. Its name, the lamprey, is simply the name of an elongated eel-like jawless fish comprising of the family the petrol mizentide, characterized by primitive vertebrae made of cartilage, slimy skin without scales, unpaired fins, a notchard, which is a cartilaginous skeletal rod supporting the body in all embryotic and some adult short eight animals that makes up a major part of the adult and a circular jawless mouth with teeth on the disc, which represents its mouth. Because lampreys resemble eels in general appearance, they're sometimes called lamprey eels, but are in fact not related to eels, which are part of the jawed bony fish class. Lampreys lack scales where some eels do have scales embedded within the skin. An adult lamprey can be anywhere from 13 to 100 centimeters or five to 40 inches long. 
Imagine one or more of these things latching onto you. Arapaima. These fish look prehistoric with very rough detail about their heads. Although not as scary looking as some of the other fish on this list, it's still scary nonetheless. The Arapaima is also known as the Peche or the Piraruku. This fish is air breathing and it roams the dense rainforests of South America's Amazon basin and can also be found in various lakes and swamps. This is one of the world's largest freshwater fish species. They can roll up to 4.5 meters or 15 feet long and weigh nearly 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, fish of this size have not been reported for many years. Nowadays, they tend to be about 1.8 meters or 6 feet long and weigh only 90 kilograms or 200 pounds. Arapaima have upward tapered copper green heads, upturned mouths, and scaly black streamlined bodies with a white center. A dorsal fin stretches along the backs towards their massive red tails. In Brazil, they are called the Piraruku, which originates from the Tupi language and roughly translates as red fish. Arapaima was once thought to be a genus of a single species, Arapaima gigas. Because of this fact, Arapaima gigas is the most well-researched of all of the subspecies. However, it may have as many as four separate species that have been discovered since then. The most recent one was found in the Solimals River in Brazil. Arapaima leptosoma, discovered in 2013, is taken from the Greek word leptos, which means slender, and sama, which means body. Arapaima mape lives in the Lago de Amapa in Brazil, which is where it gets its scientific name from. The final species, Arapaima agassiz, was named after the famous biologist Luiz Agassiz. Imagine the fisherman who pulled out the first ever one. Can you imagine the fight to catch a 200 kilogram fish? Bull shark. Imagine pulling a shark onto your boat. Well, bull sharks are sometimes caught, and that may be a very scary experience with razor sharp teeth gnashing around your feet. Reaching lengths of up to 3.5 meters or 11 feet and weighing at nearly 115 kilograms or 700 pounds, the bull shark is one of the largest requiem sharks that is known to the family. Bull sharks are aggressive predators and do eat a variety of prey. These include several species of bony fish and even smaller sharks. Other snacks can include mammals, both marine and terrestrial, seabirds, and even sea turtles. The large adult bull sharks don't have any natural predators. These sharks, however, do not mature until they're about 15 to 20 years old. They mate via internal fertilization and give birth to well-developed live young. Don't think that you're only going to encounter these animals in the ocean. Bull sharks don't just venture into freshwater for short periods, but they can travel as far upriver in some areas. You may even find them in places like the Nicaragua River, the Zambezi River, and the Mississippi. There is a semi-permanent population in Lake Nicaragua, which was thought to be a separate species until recently. Apparently, they also give birth in freshwater. During these long periods inland, bull sharks come into close contact with people, and most of the incidents in which they've attacked folks have been in rivers rather than in the ocean. Even so, these incidents are extremely rare. Typically, when a bull shark does bite a person, it only takes one taste bite and quickly realizes that the person is not preferred prey. The thing is that due to their size, even an exploratory bite can be fatal or extremely traumatic for the victim. Them. The only advice that I've got for you is just be careful where you swim. Amazon Electric Eel The Amazon Electric Eel is not just ugly with small beady black eyes, but also has pockmarked skin and has a pocket shock. Its ugliness will shock you, and then it will shock you. It truly looks scary. More than 200 years after the electric eel had inspired the design of the first battery, it's been discovered that they can coordinate their zaps. Researchers working in the Amazon had filmed eels gather in packs to herd prey, then stunning them with a synchronized electric shock. That's according to the BBC News, as reported on the 14th of January. Two new electric eel species have been identified in the Amazon basin, including one fish with a record-breaking shock, scientists say. In more than 250 years of research, researchers have previously identified only one species of electric eel in South American waters that end up stunning their prey with electric discharges. However, they now know that there are a total of three unique electric eel species in the region which descend from a common ancestor millions of years ago. This species, which is known as Electrophosphorus volti, can discharge up to 860 volts of electricity, significantly much more than 650 
150 volts, which was generated by the previously known electric eel species, Electric Phosphorus Electrus. Tasers deliver a voltage to the body of around 1,200 volts. The Amazon Electric Eel is only about 400 volts short of that. Its shock is almost four times the shock that you would even get from a faulty home appliance. These electric eels are actually a type of fish with an eel-like appearance. They can reach a length of up to 2.4 meters or 8 feet. The thing is that groups of these eels are known to hunt together and stun prey with a synchronized shock. That in and of itself is more than a taser delivers. So there you have it. Those are some of the scariest fish on the planet which have ever been caught. All I can say is stay out of the rivers and the oceans, and in fact, just stay out of the water altogether. Until next time, have a good one.